Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just playing around today, and I, I was thinking, how far can we join curves and make them look good? Uh, you know, when you're trying, I, I draw a lot and, and rotate it around, so we're going to take the uh, three-point curve line and draw a curve, and then hold down the control button and draw a semi-perfect curve. We don't have to, but I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Select them both and hit T like in Tom. And then I might even bump it up. Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, less than two inches tall. I'm going to bump it up uh, 1.5 inches. So it, it'll be top dead center and not particular in the circle because I don't care about the circle. I'm just using the circle for reference right now. I'm going to double, well, I'm going to make this shape a little differently. Um, how can we make it different? We're going to take the shape tool and tweak this just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to take it and double click on the rotation, put the rotation in the center. And a lot of times you're going to do that if you don't hit that center. And I am in the center. Now I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees and I want seven because 45, it would take eight, but we've already got one. Now, those are pretty far apart. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I, I, that would actually work. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, uh, spread it out a little bit, then maybe hit P again, and then uh, select, select both of them and hit T. And I'm just going to move it manually this time. And really, that's probably bigger than I want, but that's good. Let's see what it looks like rotated. See, I moved it so my rotation moved. That now it now it might be too big, but we're pretty good. So let's take away the circle. That was just our reference. Now, if and I'm really a lot further apart than I want, but I'm going to take the parallel dimension tool and just find out how far those nodes are. They're only 0.61 of an inch, so they're not that far apart. You know, just a little bit over a half an inch. So now what we can do, let's delete that. And let's select them all with the pick tool, then get the shape tool, and then select them all with the shape tool. And we're going to go over here and, and change this to 0.75 with the Bezier curve. And look what it did. It put a little curve there to join those curves. Now, granted, I messed it up a little bit in... That's not really what I was wanting. I was wanting, you could do, let's just do a, a, a half circle this time. Let's just take that three point line and it kind of shows it off more. I'm just going to draw it there and then holding down the control button. We've got a perfect circle or a half of a circle. Not really my half, more than a half. Let's double click on the rotation and put it there. And it's going to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to, I'm having trouble getting it right on there. And there's a, I should use my little trick I've showed many times. So we'll do the same thing. And now we're pretty far apart. Let's take our circle away. We'll measure this because it's the parallel or the joining curve. So now we're almost, we're 3.46 inches. So three and a half inches from each other, but we can still join this. Let's grab them all first with the pick tool, second with the shape tool. And let's make this uh, 3.7 inches with the bear's ear curve. And look what it did. It gave us a pretty good curve uh, if you were drawing something like that. This isn't probably the best example. But, you know, if you do it with the extended curves, it doesn't do as good. It, it puts flat lines across there. It'll join them on the straightest distance. Same thing with the chamfered and the fillet. Even if you put a radius on them, it's going to give you a flat line. So the Bezier tool is the best to make that curve. It's pretty impressive that it'll join those curves that far apart and do them in a semi-semi-circle curve. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.